hey guys make sure you like this video also if you're not subscribed to the channel you do so making sure that that notification bell is on with the option all so when i upload these videos you are the first one to watch small update i will be going live today at 5 p.m eastern standard time you can see that post of me going live today at 5 p.m on my community post you probably also see it through your notifications and your subscription feeds and also if you're looking up up-to-date information about nature boy it'll probably be on the front page so there's no way you're gonna miss my live um you might you know hear this video here before um i go live or after but at least you know that there is a video for you to go and check out on my second channel sl david social media news make sure to subscribe to the second channel making sure that the option is on all when you hit that notification bell so you can get all of the notifications now i'm not going to speak my piece until uh efru is done with her sermon i just really think that it's a really sad situation that it's okay to talk about god but when you're referring to god as nature boy and you want the public to refer to god as nature boy being god and all the things that nature boy has done over the, the duration of the time that we've all followed him up until he got arrested which the local authorities must have been like enough's enough we have to sit this dude down look into what's going on and see if the facts are the facts or the allegations and this is why nature boy is locked up right now so i'm going to let you listen to what um efru had to say and i'll be back with the rest of my commentary six you must love peace reflections listen you cannot serve birth both god and money it says it in Matthew 6, you must love one and hate the other. You must be devoted to one and despise the other. So I don't understand how people today can claim up and down they Christians, claim up and down they filled with the Holy Ghost, claim up and down we retarded by worshiping a black man and seeing him as our God, but still wake up and go chase a piece of paper. Oh, you say you got your own business, but you're still doing it for money. Oh, you do your own art, but you still got money for it. If you was truly not selling your soul and truly in a line and with divinity and something that is godlike you will be giving your art away for free you will not do anything for money money has no value the melanin in your skin is worth more than that piece of paper that you get up and worship every day the only thing that give that gives money value is our attention and our focus and our mental capacity to think that it has some type of value of importance for our survival and that is made through the european's mind the problem is we are looking at life through the european's mind we have the european's mind so when you see us worshiping the black god you're seeing it through the european mind that's why you want to demonize it and bring it down and be happy that one of your black brothers black fathers black cousins black son black nephew is in jail people celebrating and honoring a black man being in jail because they have the mind of the white the mind of the European and that's the mind we came to elevate and wake up because our black people have had that mind and see even when you do have that mind you we do the best at it because melanin it just enhances and you know anything it touches we're the best lawyers we're the best athletes we're the best music artists because anything that melanin touches it will bring it to life united states is the best country everybody want to come here because of the culture and how us black people made it look but you have to stop pointing the finger and take a look at yourself how is everybody a Christian today? But when Jesus was alive in the Bible, you read your Bibles, he had 12 disciples and his own people crucified him. His own people killed him because he went against the system and the status quo of society, which we do. Y'all don't see it because you're in darkness. Your hearts have been callous. The prophecy of Isaiah is upon you. But those who can hear, we're here to wake it up. It's time to wake it up. It's time to put the message out. And if you're going to be too coward to do it, well, support somebody who is doing it. 
and standing for it no matter what. You can't get up and serve a piece of paper and claim you are God like a something of divinity if you have any type of selling a piece of yourself for this piece of paper. Y'all like to point the finger at us? Well, don't you receive donations? Well, the gods have returned to bring back this message, but we are still in hell. So you do have to utilize the damn piece of paper. Obviously, but we don't do for money. We don't for that dollar. We just open ourselves up for our blessings. Because what we have is way more valuable than that money way more valuable than money we don't store our treasures in these earthly possessions that's why you see us flaunt it and throw it all away because we're not taking none of it with us when we die that's why we left all that walk our path because you ain't taking none of it with you but your soul store your treasures treasures in in heaven where moss and vermin cannot come in and steal what i have this mind my soul you cannot come in and steal me do not fear one who can kill the body, but not the soul. I got my soul. I got my heart. My heart will be light as a feather when I transition. Because I walk and talk this knowledge. Walk it like I talk it. Walk and talk this knowledge. I am this knowledge. Every move I make, I'm conscious and aware of the knowledge. Because when I die, I'm going to weigh my own heart. That is the purpose of life, can't you see? If we live all of this life, will seem so long, but it's happening like this, and then when we have that moment of death or transition, we stop and play back the whole life, and then we either say, hell yeah, I did that, or like, damn, I should have really listened to three guys. He was really trying to tell me I'm in hell, and blah, 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 blah. oh, I treated the person like that. Oh, I treated them like Oh, and then you're going to stay in this place of regret and hurt because you're going to be surrounded by so much love and you're going to feel a love that you never felt before. You're going to feel that everything is me. Everything was me. Oh, look at all this love. And then you're going to open your arms up. You're going to say, come, but you're going to feel so bad and you're going to feel so regret and then you're going to take that energy and vibrate yourself to a place of hell. Regret is a place. Guilt is a place. It is a frequency of thoughts. All is mind, all is mental. What are you feeding your minds with? That's what we came to elevate. We are in darkness now because we have went against the Most High. But the Most High has returned through the three God. Three God is God. Three God is Jesus in the flesh. Oh, it sounds crazy, don't it? Because he's one of us. Don't you know Jesus is returning? You thought it was going to be a... Nah. It's time to wake up. Stop putting your finger and look at yourself. It's really sad that Efru allowed herself to um, stay as long as she did. And she is now stuck. She's, yeah, she's been mistreated for a few years. And, you know, she's probably had the worst life. Um that anyone could imagine even though this is the norm for uh Efri. when you subject yourself to this kind of a mental and physical abuse for a long time you start to think that this is how life is and this is how relationships are supposed to be between um people and also she's stuck because she's brainwashed and she honestly thinks that she should not be working in Babylon for money. That's one thing besides laziness being a factor, besides being rebellious, probably prior to going to carbonation with Nature Boy. Um, she's brainwashed. She has been brainwashed into thinking that she should not have to work. And the only way that it's humanly possible is her still being over there on nature boy side whether or not he's in jail or not as long as he has a roof he can put over their head they're gonna stay there because they're conditioned to the lifestyle and it's really sad it's the same thing as like a woman that's with a millionaire and he's running around on her and cheating and doing all kind of stuff maybe even abusing her physically and mentally 
you know, um, and she stays with him because he's taking care of her. She's got the big diamond ring, the fancy car, the beautiful house. She doesn't have to work. She probably has maids. I'm just saying millionaire status. And the woman just stays in that abusive relationship because she does not know her worth. She doesn't also want to have to change her lifestyle. It's, it's the fear of the unknown. And that's the situation with these girls over here. It's the fear of the unknown. What are people going to think of me? Um, how are they going to perceive me? Um, I'm, I'm just not going to make it because Nature Boy has told me that there's no one on this planet that's going to do the things for you like he did for you um, and for you to be grateful. And they start to believe this when we know in all actuality, there are great men out here that are not going to cheat on you, that are not going to exploit you, that are not going to disrespect you, that you can be with and be happy that it could be 50-50 or in some cases, maybe you will meet someone that um, is established and can take care of you, but also treat you like the queen that you should be treated like. And um, these girls don't see their worth. So this is why they subject themselves to this kind of um, treatment. And they put themselves in these kind of situations. It's a pattern of behavior with all these ex-carbonation members. Not just Efru, not Mo just Malia or Zoka. Um, that they've all been brainwashed um, in a lot of ways. And one being that they don't want to work. Everyone has flocked that left that house, his disciples to either uh big go or instagram to you know get money because people want to hear or hope that they're gonna bring up the stories of what happened behind closed doors with nature boy i just seen someone i'm not gonna say her name but that's a big hint but you gotta understand even on youtube if you have a youtube channel your, your views are gonna go up and down but i you know i, I i'm subscribed to her channel and i watch her she's another hint she's an ex carbonation member um but it's like she's having a she's having a down time i'm having a down time on my views um and i really think that the last video that that person did on their channel it all of a sudden was um uh, referring to nature boy even though it wasn't in the title you know the word cult um how i got out of a cult or what dealing with uh getting out of a cult whatever the title was you know they use um nature boy as a crutch like they can't make it without his presence or without um having some type of att of attachment to him so it's like okay my views are struggling you know i'm trying to make sure that i get this monthly on the 21st of the month this money in every month so i don't have to work um it's it's almost like anxiety for them you know the the thought of them having to work so you know they'll do anything any means necessary if it if it takes one minute them saying oh i don't i don't want you asking me questions about nature boy i don't want to talk about nature boy i have moved on with my life but in an instant when your views are looking kind of like on the diet you want to stop bringing up uh using the word cult and i'm not i don't i didn't look at the video i just seen the title and i immediately because i'm a youtuber knew why that video was put out there and it was to utilize um not the system but to utilize nature boy and his teachings and how he taught them that they shouldn't work for money and um they sh you know and to, to be home and to be lazy um and they're not living off the land but to not work a job so it's a any means necessary um i really feel at this point when i seen that video you know if, if the views are starting to struggle people are not paying attention to that person no more because they're not understanding it never was about you in the first place you can't make yourself out to be uh the star when you were in a cult that's the only reason why you're getting this attention it's not because you did anything spectacular or you're some a-list actor or something like that or a singer or a football player you were in a cult and they have to understand that you know that's the only reason why people are uh there because it's like a circus 
they want to hear the drama. They want to hear the struggle. They want to know what happened behind closed doors that we don't know because we only see a little bit of everyone's life that shares their life on social media. And we still don't know for sure if what we're seeing is what it is. But when them cameras go off, that's usually when the truth comes out and people start to be who they are because they're behind closed doors in their own domain. 